Hey guys, today we're going to install this tail tidy number plate holder onto the Tenere 700. As I said, that's going to replace the big daggy Yamaha uh, unit. The number plate will then be up here and it should look a lot cleaner. First thing I need to do is take off the pillion seat and also the main rider seat. Take your 4mm Allen key. There is one included uh, in there but it's a pain to get out. Okay, now we need to remove the whole uh, rear guard, starting with these tidy on points which are a T40 Torx. Your 8mm socket, you want to take off both uh, plastic side plates. Okay, so it looks like we've got 5 4mm and the bolts up on the top here. Uh, there's a little one of those little push in fasteners on each side, in the same spot on each side, they need to come out as well. Just push in the center of them and they'll pop out. So it looks like we've got three eight little bolts uh, on each side underneath the rear fender here to take off. Uh, one, two, three, and same on the other side. Once you've got all those bolts out um, and the two push pins, it's just a matter of sliding the fender backwards um, out of the little clip that holds it. And it's uh, out the way. Uh, so now we need to unplug the, the wiring for the tail light and everything here. Uh, I just need to lift up these little clips to unplug those guys. Now up with a 10 mm spanner. I'm going to undo these two bolts here um, to remove the tail light assembly. Okay, so with these nuts removed, we can uh, unclip the wiring down here. There's four 10mm uh, bolts underneath here that we need to undo. So, With those four bolts removed, we should be able to remove the entire assembly here from the bike. Okay, so now we need to remove the stock blinkers and uh, mount them into the B&B unit. So it looks like we've got three 8mm bolts here to undo. If you have a number plate installed, you'll need to remove it too, obviously. And one more 8mm bolt holding on with the number plate. Okay. So to remove the blinkers, um, there's just a rubber rubber clips on either side holding holding a plastic piece there. Once that's off, we should be able to work it out of the hole. I just need to uh, cut that zip tie and pull the wiring through as well. There's another zip tie on here that you need to cut. Can remove the tail light assembly. Now we've discovered that before we remove the blinkers we need to get the wiring fully out. So there's a couple of 5mm Allen key bolts here for starters. Now these four 8mm bolts. Another 8mm bolt underneath, or on top actually. Whoa, that's a lot of pieces. <laughs> okay, so we'll pull all this wiring through. Yeah. 
and we'll zip tie the cut. Two more zip ties to cut. And I'll just feed all these wires through here. Now we have to remember to make note of which indicator is the left and right <clears throat> because they've got the opposite plugs on, on each end so so this one is the left no? yeah so just so I don't forget I'll mount the uh, indicator straight in to its correct side Don't forget your little um, plastic retainer. Okay, repeat for the other side. Okay, so with the bolts that we removed from the underside, the 10mm bolts, we'll use those to attach the top plate, um, the BMB top plate. Camera girl's doing such a good job today. <laughs> okay, so we need, we need to remove this um, tail light mounting plate from the old plastic unit. The eight mil, two eight mil bolts there. And using those same bolts, we'll attach it to the B and B unit, just like so. Now it's never going to throw in the um, tail light assembly again. Don't forget your nuts and washers. So now we need to Mount up the uh, number plate light with the included screws and nuts. Feed this through, making sure we've got the LEDs on the bottom of course. Feed the wiring through that middle hole. So I need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, I think it's a 6mm spanner for the back but I'm just using a shifter because it's what I've got handy. Alright, so we've just bolted up the lower piece of the uh, number plate holder, those two bolts. Um, you feed the indicator wires out, there's a little cut slot um, in there to feed those out, and then they come up to the top here, and then all four of your cables get fed down back where they were. All we have to do is um, use a pen on the back side through these holes here to mark where we need to drill um, our holes in the number plate so we can mount that up. Alright, we've drilled the number plate and uh, hopefully it's nice and straight. So the bolts that hold the number plate on uh, obviously hold the back of the um, bottom piece to the rest of the tail tidy. Alright guys, so with the number plate light, if you want to keep the original plug, you need to cut it off of the old number plate light. So I'm just going to leave about as much wire as what we've got with the other ones. Cut that off. Put that insulation a little bit. Cut that off a bit shorter. Now of course we've got different coloured wiring so we got to figure out which one goes onto which. Alright so we're soldering the wires together here. Um, black goes to white which makes perfect sense to me. Um, blue to brown we've tested it that, that's the way it works. Now 
Now we'll just insulate that with a bit of um, electrical tape and zip tie all these wires up inside nice and neat and uh, we'll be ready to put it back together. Alright guys, so before we uh, staple it all back together, we just make sure everything's working. Obviously tail light and brake light are working and the number plate light's working. Left blinker, right blinker. Okay, so now we're just going to um, tidy up these wires. Obviously we've got a bit of excess here. So um, we'll just use a zip tie to tidy all that up. And uh, then we'll button it back up. Alright guys, then we're going to fit the um, rear guard cover. Again, you want to make sure that you slot this um, tab into the little bracket at the back here. The starters. And then basically we've just got all the bolts to put back in, so we'll rip through that real quick. Alright guys, we've put the six bolts underneath the fender, the five Allen key bolts in the top here, and also the two little pushy pin things. Um, now we're going to put the solid plates back on, and we're almost done. Seats going on, and uh, Done. Pretty much replaced all that, all that plastic garbage there with this neat little unit. So we'll just check one more time, make sure everything's still working. Lovely. Thanks for watching. Hope uh, the video helped you out a bit. It's not too bad of a job. Went pretty smoothly. Good on your B&B. Cheers. <laughs> and action. Alright, so now we're going to try <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we discovered that before we removed the blankers. Oh.